Hey friends, thanks for tuning in. Welcome to the Saturday Review. Today we'll be focusing on the Bosha White Charcoal Mattifying Makeup Setting Spray. <sighs> so I picked this up some time ago and I've been kind of playing around with it. After about a month of use, I figured I can finally review this um, through and through for you guys. It's supposed to be a fine mist that minimizes pores, gently mattifies, and sets makeup while keeping skin hydrated. The skin is left shine-free yet hydrated and the makeup is locked in place. It's made without parabens, sulfates, and phthalates, which I absolutely love about bullshit products. And lastly, it is free of preservatives, artificial fragrances, colors, gluten, and ethanol alcohol. It is dermatologist tested. So far, everything sounds absolutely amazing about the setting spray. I picked it up because I saw it on the Bosha website and I was using it for a while. The first few times I used it, I absolutely loved it because I thought I saw a difference. I'm not sure if my skin was going through something weird. But two cons that I noticed immediately the first few times that I used it. There was a white mist that would come and get all over my clothes, all over my shoes, everywhere basically when I sprayed it. And also I had to shake it so many times because the charcoal in it can you see it now? I've been shaking it for a while. The charcoal in it does settle. Um, it does settle, so you have to shake it quite a bit before you use it. I remember the first time I used this, and it just got all over the neckline of a black dress that I was wearing. And <laughs> I was so upset because I was going out, obviously. And I just remember asking, I'm like, does it look awkward? And the person I was with was just like, no, it's even enough that it actually looks like a design on the shirt. But who wants their makeup setting spray to be a design on their shirt? Let's be honest. I took to the bullshit Instagram page because that's just what I do and I commented on it and I said I love this setting spray so much but it can't seem to not get it everywhere when I spray it so they recommended that I use a damp beauty sponge to apply it to my face before and after I apply my makeup and I just don't think it worked the same way as I would have sprayed it on my skin. Now the the optimal results that I received from this was when I sprayed it before applying my makeup and then just kind of going about my makeup without spraying any of it after. I noticed that after I had sprayed, after I had applied my makeup, when I sprayed it on there, it didn't seem to last very long. I, I can't seem to figure out why, um, but it worked best when I applied it before my makeup. The packaging is very convenient. It comes in this hard plastic bottle. It has a spray cap, obviously, um, because it's a spray. and. Yeah, I mean, it's very convenient, small enough to fit in your makeup stash, definitely not something I would carry around in my purse with me, but it is a 5 ounce, 5 fluid ounce bottle, um, US size, so, I mean, it's it's pretty standard size for a setting spray, I believe. It retails for $38 on Sephora, and I think that falls within the price range of most of the bullshit products, based on the size, obviously, and what it is. Overall, I'd give this a 3 out of 5 stars because it is kind of a hit or miss use. I'm not getting the same exact results every single day when I'm using this. There's certain days when I use it, I feel like I can stay matte throughout most of the morning, and then there are days where I can barely get through the morning without having to blot or touch up my makeup. So, um, 3 out of 5 stars from me for the Bosha Mattifying Setting Spray. I don't think I'm going to repurchase this only because I feel like I've used other mattifying products that have worked way better. So I'm still debating on whether or not I'm going to return it only because it is $38 and there's a lot of product in there so I don't want to keep something that doesn't really work when I could be splurging on the VIB Rouge sale, I'm just saying. So thanks for watching this review, I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you have not already. And I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye friends!